Space. It's big. <laughs> How big is it? Let's find out together, okay? Here is the Earth. This is where we all live. We're gonna start here, and today we're gonna go further and further out to see how big space really is. So we're starting here on Earth. Let's go land on Earth to, to start our journey, our interstellar, interplanetary, intergalactic journey. Okay, so here's the ocean on Earth. We are under, this is a very thin ocean. Are you sure that it's not <laughs> deeper than that, Space Engine? Okay. So this is a little the green rocks. This is where we're starting on earth. You can see it's a pretty beautiful landscape. We got clouds and there's our beautiful star, the sun up in the sky. Okay, okay, so here we are on earth. We're going 251 kilometers every second. So that's pretty fast. You can see how fast we move across the surface. Let's go back to that speed. Okay, 251. And if we fly straight up like backwards, this is how fast that pulls away from Earth. That looks so realistic. You could say that's a that's a picture of Earth from like the International Space Station or something. Okay, so we're still flying at that speed. So where's the moon? Right there. So if I try flying towards the moon at this speed, it's gonna take a long time to get there. Where's our distance? Look how far away it is. This would take a long time to get there. Okay, but then if we go a lot faster, Okay, this is about 21% the speed of light, and this is still how long it takes to get to the moon. And we just ran into it. Or did we go through it? What just happened? Oh, we're on the dark side of the moon. That's what's up. Here's the moon. Okay, so we saw Earth, now we saw the moon. So, if you want to see something that might blow your mind, the speed of light is the fastest thing in the universe. You cannot go faster than light. So, let's set our speed to the speed of light. That's about the speed of light, and fly away. That's it. That is the speed of light. I mean, yeah, that was fast, but like, where's the earth? Okay, there's the earth. Speed of light, go. From the earth to the moon, this is how long light itself takes to get from one to the other. That's pretty far. Okay, now let's do that same thing with the sun. So if we set our speed to the speed of light, this is fast as light goes and fly towards the sun. We're going, I'm flying right now. Click on the sun. So you can see distance on the top left right there, 0.98 AU, 0.97, we're still flying. So now if we set it to, okay, this is 50 times the speed of light. We're flying 50 times faster than light itself can go. And this is still how long it takes to get to the sun. So that should put into scale how big the sun or how big space really is. This is just in our solar system. Let's line up all the planets. How do we do that? This is a size comparison, a mini size comparison. There's Earth compared to the size of the whole sun. The sun is massive, especially like, okay, okay. Here's Earth. So if Earth takes up about, so this is like as big as my hand on the monitor. How big is Jupiter compared to that? If we just go right over to Jupiter. Oh, it's big. It's very, very large. Okay, there's Saturn with its rings. That's beautiful. Oh, you can rotate. I've actually not really looked in this size comparison menu that we can look in. That is pretty cool. So there's our solar system, but we can fly out of the solar system. There's, okay, we're going two AU a sec. So you can see all those little dots. Those are actually the planets. If you turn on the orbits. Yeah. So here's the whole solar system in this little view. This is it. This is everything we, all of our planets that are even close to us at all. And then the closest star is Proxima Centauri. So let's go to that. Proxima Centauri. So the closest star to us that besides the sun, the sun is in our, the, the, the sun's the closest star. This way, we're gonna fly towards it. Oh, we flew right past it. It's this little tiny dot. And here that is. This is the closest star besides the sun to earth. This even has some planets too. Let's do that weird browser thing again. These are its planets. That's pretty cool. Now let's zoom out till we can start to see the stars moving. So how fast do we need to be going to see stars moving? Okay, we're starting to see stars moving at 2.8 light years every second. Okay, that I think is the Orion Nebula right here. So we're gonna fly towards that. We gotta go pretty quick. This is 143 light years every second that we travel. This is so much faster than you could possibly ever go. And here's the Orion Nebula. So here's a real picture of the Orion Nebula and this is what Space Engine does with it. Let's see if we can find a cool planet inside the Orion Nebula. We need a star that's in it. Oh, here we go. This has tons of planets. Okay, so here's a planet that would be really close to the Orion Nebula. That's a cool looking planet. Uh, realistic lighting, this is what our planet's gonna look like. Wow, okay. Let's go right here, I think. We'll be able to see it. There it is, whoa, okay, so if you're on this planet and this is like sunset time, yeah, you could still see the sun and you look up in your night sky, whoa, there it is, okay. Realistically, it's gonna look more like this because our sun's still up, so let's wait for the sun to go down and see if we can see it at night. 
It's super dim, but yes, you can see it. It's right there. If we turn the exposure up really high, you can see even the whole Milky Way. That's cool. So that super far distance that we traveled, that is still in our galaxy. We have not even close to seeing the full scale of the universe. So we're still in the Milky Way easily. So now we're gonna go and look Okay, we gotta go so fast. So this is starting to see the scale of our galaxy now. So we're going a whopping 13,000 light years every second. So if I hold W for one second, I travel 13,000 light years. You can see all the stars that are whizzing by us. What's also cool is we're never gonna hit a star, even flying like through this cluster, cause space is 99.9% .9 empty space. You see the light from these stars, but no matter what, you're not gonna hit one which is so crazy okay that's back in the orion nebula i think okay so let's go to one of our neighboring galaxies you could see it in the background there this is andromeda this is one of the brightest galaxies that you can see from earth you can see there's the milky way right there so this is a whole galaxy over and you could see how many stars are in here so let's find a planet in here a cool planet so we can just click on these planets and hit f2 oh look at that nebula can we find a, a planet that's really close to this nebula Oh, there's a star cluster inside it. Okay, let's see if there's a planet. Yes, okay. So this object is planet. So most of these stars have planets on it, which is crazy. And you just saw like flying around how many stars we saw. So could you imagine being here and your night sky is literally an entire nebula? That is amazing. And you can start to see that line there is the Andromeda galaxy in the background. So what's a night sky really gonna look like? Pretty dark. We gotta wait for the exposure to go up. Whoa, okay, so this is like a realistic night sky. You can see how dark the ground is and how bright our night sky is with tons of stars. You can zoom in in any direction and there's just so many more stars. And each one of those stars most likely has planets on it and those planets can have moons. So the chances that we are alone in the universe is so small. There's so many different planets that could develop life, it's insane. Okay, so that is a view from Andromeda. So. Now, I'm gonna blow your mind, I think. That is two galaxies, and each galaxy has billions of stars. And now if we zoom out, okay, so you might think, oh, that's a lot of stars. These are not stars. These are all galaxies. Turn up the brightness. Every single one of these dots is a whole galaxy, and we can go fastest speed possible. This is 326 million light years every second flying through and pick any one of these and it's an entire galaxy with billions of stars. I just clicked on a random one, we're gonna go to it. Boom, here's a galaxy. And you can fly in the galaxy. Each galaxy has tons of stars. Each star most likely has some amount of planets on it. We just clicked on a random one. What's crazy about Space Engine 2 is every single person is in the same universe. So someone could go to these exact coordinates right here and go to this same planet. Crazy. So that is the scale of the universe. And if we zoom out as far as we can, let's go to our universe map. This is the scale of that system we were just in. We can zoom out to go to the entire galaxy. That was the galaxy we were just in. Go to near galaxies. This will show all of the dots. All those dots are galaxies around the one we were just in. And zoom out even more. All of those dots are galaxies. This is the entire universe and you can zoom in into one galaxy, zoom in into one star, one system, one planet, and find one planet just like that, and zoom out and see the entire, that is just the galaxy. Those are all stars, and then all of these dots that you're about to see are other galaxies. So yeah, the universe is pretty big. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you wanna see more Space Engine content like this, leave a like on the video so I know. Put suggestions for things to look for or cool things you found in the comments below for Space Engine. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time.